Hey guys, welcome back to another Mech Spotlight. Today we're taking a look at a Stone Rhino again. So this is going to be the Stone Rhino SR1 variant. Uh, the reason we're using this one is for the quirks, but I'll show you those in a second. Uh, this is, again, the same model as last time, except it's not the Axum Legendary uh, version, so you get the, the basic uh, Stone Rhino variant here. Now, the reason we went with this variant is because it has the Gauss platform quirk, which uh, since we're doing a Gauss build here, I thought would be appropriate. Um, we'll go through the quirks first real quick. So you get your standard clan quirk, which gives you your uh, mobility and uh, weapon spread radius, uh, some damage reduction, that sort of stuff. Uh, barrel fist, left arm, right arm, that's just for melee. Protected actuators. This gives you a little bit extra uh, leg armor and structure. Oversized chance to completely avoid incoming fire is minus 5%, uh, so you're easier to hit because you're in a giant mech. Uh, poor performance, your top speed, turn speed, acceleration all get uh, negatives there, so that kind of uh, cancels out and then goes a little bit further than what you get from the clan quirk as far as mobility bonuses for those. Uh, so it's slow, it's big and slow, it feels big and slow when you're piloting it. Uh, you also have weak head armor, so you lose a little bit of armor uh, on your head as well. And then you get to the Goss platform quirk, and this is uh, the reason we're using this variant, because it has this quirk. Uh, so you got Goss cooldown modifier of 7.5% and ammo modifier of 12.5%. Uh, you need all the ammo you can get because we weren't able to fit a whole lot on here. As you can see, we have a heavy Goss on each side torso, so, and those are the only weapon systems we're taking, uh, two heavy Goss rifles, and the reason for that is because we had to fit targeting Computer Mark 8. Uh, I wanted to do a Goss build, I like uh, the Stone Rhino for that. Uh, I wanted to do it with the heavy Goss rifles though, to get as much uh, damage out of each shot as possible. Uh, so these are the Gauss Rifles that do the most damage out of any of the Gauss Rifles. You can go with an improved heavy Gauss Rifle, which gives you extra range, but the damage is a little bit lower. Um, so with this, we have two Gauss Rifles that are each doing 38 and a half damage. Uh, and because we have the targeting computer Mark 8, plus a few other bonuses like the advanced ballistic FCS and whatnot, we got our rate of fire to a point where the cooldown is under two seconds. You're at 1.9 seconds for your cooldown on these, uh, which is a really rapid rate of fire for these kind of cannons. Uh, other than that, you know, we got three double bins of ammo. Like I said, the ammo is a little bit light, uh, so conserve it, use it wisely. You're not going to take this into, uh, you know, fortress assaults or uh, battlegrounds and stuff. Uh, chances are you'll run out of ammo unless you have a way to restock ammo. Um, I did because it is very slow uh we weren't able to go with an xl engine or anything because of the large guns on the torso uh so our engine core uh the biggest i could get on this build was the 310 and then we added to that with our mobility gyro and speedy leg actuators on one leg gets us up to about 54 almost 55 kph which is a decent amount for uh something like this we also put turret mounts on each of the, the side torsos to help with those heavy Gauss rifles that, again, is helping with our cooldown, uh, as well as giving us 10% bonus damage. Um, so that's huge. Uh, sniper sensors, of course, we've got a probe there so that we can see where the enemies are, even if they're, we don't have line of sight. Uh, and then I had to go with a small advanced cockpit uh, because I needed every, every ton I could get. Uh, and along those same lines, we got our uh, clan ferro armor and clan endo structure. Uh, standard double heatsink kit, and then I went ahead and did engine heatsink removals um, because I really needed the tonnage. Those give us one uh, and a quarter tons each uh, back that we were able to use. So, uh, oh, and the only other thing I did compact actuators uh, on both arms because we're not using the arms for any weapons. We don't need the uh, twist. In fact, when I'm playing this mech, I tend to just go ahead and put arm lock on, it makes it a little bit easier to aim. Um, because the cursors just stay locked, uh, or the reticles stay locked together. Um, so yeah, that, those aren't even noticeable then, and that just gives us a little bit more space, uh, which we also need. We ended up with just one crit slot left. Um, I would love to put another ton of ammo in there, honestly. 
uh, it would probably be worth it. You could drop the engine down a little bit in order to fit another uh, bin of ammo on the arm there. Um, but that's about it. As you can see, not a lot of space for other stuff. It's a really fun build. It's a rapid fire, heavy damage Goss build. Um, I mean, literally, if, if you get close enough and you just you can just fire, hold down the trigger and fire off a few rounds uh, in you know six seconds. You get three rounds off in less than six seconds, um, and three three volleys from these two heavy Goss rifles is enough to tear through just about any mech you're doing. 77 damage each time so you multiply that by three you're over 200 uh this mech for example only has 124 armor on the ct uh plus your 62 structure so you're well under 200 total right there um so it's a beast you just have to be careful running out of ammo uh the arms use the arms as shields if you need to uh you, you really don't want to use lose the targeting computer there um, because that gives you a, a lot of bonus um, and I'm assuming that you lose those bonuses if you lose the targeting computer I'm not 100% on that but they, that would make sense right um, so try to use the left arm if you can but you do have some ammo there but with no weapons in the arms they are a little bit expendable which is helpful at times um, this build the heavy Goss rifles don't quite have the range that typical Goss rifles have uh, your optimal is just over 500 meters, um, so really you want to be in a little closer. You can hit at range. Uh, your max range goes all the way out to 1600 uh, instead of just being double uh, what your optimal is. So you do have range there, uh, but to really be doing full damage and be uh, really effective, you want to be as close to that 500 meter range as possible, so you're not really playing as a sniper. Even though it seems like as a double Gauss build, it would be a sniper build, but it's um, a little bit more of a mid-range, uh, not really even sniper because it's more of a rapid fire. Um, so you're more, more of a mid-range gunner type build, um, but it, it's a lot of fun to play. So I hope you all enjoy the uh, watching the game footage now, and uh, I'll see you next time.
spotted. Last 
Commander. Stand by for pickup.